Following in the footsteps of the ME-163, the Messerschmitt 262 was the first true turbojet fighter aircraft. Capable of flying 100 miles per hour faster than a P-51 Mustang, the 262 streaked across the sky at more than half the speed of sound. It was an aircraft truly ahead of its time. The Germans hoped it would win back the air superiority they so desperately desired. But the 262 was not invincible, and it was too little, too late for the Luftwaffe. This war is going to end soon, and unfortunately so may the Grand Alliance that won it. Ike's going to let the Soviets into Berlin first, and once that happens, everything will change. The spoils of this war are not going to be land or riches, but scientific research. The Germans have a huge head start in jet propulsion and rocketry, technology that's going to change the world we live in. This mission that you begin today is why you were brought into the OSS. It's been in the planning stages since before D-Day, since before I even knew your name. Lieutenant, you're being sent back into Germany one last time, on a mission that just may determine the fate of the free world. 150 miles southwest of Berlin lies the Hartz Mountain Range. Buried deep inside it is the Nordhausen Mittelwerk plant, where the Nazis have been building their rockets ever since the Pienemunde raid in '43. The facility is run by the SS, and the toughest of the Waffen divisions are stationed there. The Germans consider the V-2 program their last hope, and they'll protect it at all costs. We need to learn everything the Germans know, and bluntly, we can't let the Soviets find out. Your mission is to turn their own terror weapon against them, capture their research, analyze it the best you can, then use it to destroy the facility. I've been told that luck is when opportunity meets preparedness. If that's the case, Lieutenant, I wish you all the luck in the world. I hope to see you back in London soon. Leg it off! 